how it is people. How you be. It's just a little quick little video. Yeah, it's pretty cold here in the winter time. So let's see, what are we doing? Doing the voiceover for this little video. Where have we got the uh Cal got Cal Wayne right. He'd be an astronaut. Now we've got Doctor What's it? He's in the police. That whiny noise there, that's one of my children, my, my cat children, I don't know where it is. She's asleep in front of the heater. That's the way she snores sometimes. That's my other child. <coughs> oh, he's still, he's still, he's asleep. Well, that was a bit, that was a bit creepy there. Ooh. As I thought, I heard, there's also got a cat flap in the back door. This makes it so much easier you know, for the cats to come and go. I don't want to go to the toilet, they can just go outside. 99% of the time they do. Yeah. I thought, this is a... Doing this here video. I thunked. I heard the cat coming through. Hmm. It probably wasn't a ghosty person. I hope. Oh. <laughs> a ghost cat. It might have even been one of the local cats. Around. It's bad when it's winter time. It's cold and then, and then you think about the spooks and stuff. And then you get a bit of a cold shiver down your back. <sighs> um, but, uh, is it just me? Because you know, you know, ghosts and horror movies and stuff. Yeah, Lots of cold. Mm. Uh, you know, that might have been. It could have been anything. It could have been anything, Paul. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Well, actually, well, on the note of that, uh, if it was another cat there, I think my two cats, being cat, they would have heard something and went to them, went to the door. The one time I remember, I was out the front with my two cats. And um, a ferret lunged so I had to walk up the driveway. I was I was freaked out by the ferret, but the cats didn't seem that worried about it. They the ferret and the two cats both knew of each other. They were there, but there wasn't any hissing or anything like that going on. They knew they they knew they were both there. But they must have both known that, or the three of them must have known that there was no threat implied. Well, usually if it's, a, if it's a dog or something, there can be a lot of hissing and stuff, but it's a bit of a strange one, that. I think I was a pet ferret and they would see a sign up the road wanted a you know, lost ferret. Anyway, I hope, I hope the ferret got back to where it was. I just came back and I just whimmed out. I just, I didn't run inside it. I just did. I'm hungry. This is actually ferrets. They can give a bit of a hard bite when they want to. Got the sharp, sharp little teeth, like kitty cats. I think that bite's like halfway between the dogs 
of a cat. <sighs> and actually having a ferret round, more people in country areas should have ferrets in Australia. Because I have heard, I'm not too sure, they can, you know, keep the snake population down because I think it's a ferret. Well, it's another animal that's like them, but they um, can kill a snake. But yeah, not all snakes are bad. Yeah. Oh, here's the thing. You might think about me being a straight up, but I No, the world reckons that we've got all, all the dead, most dangerous animals in the world. We don't. Other countries are much more dangerous animals than we are. I.e. America and Russia. <laughs> they got wolves and bears. And Africa's got a whole bunch of them. Oh, bye bye, thank you. Catch you later.